It's showtime. V Live by Viber. Hello and welcome to Viber Maschinenbau in Breidenbach for the presentation of the tray and flow pack solution. Automated insertion and merging of your products with a tray, a thermoform tray, a flat tray, or a cardboard inlet, whichever you prefer. What exactly do we use during the process? We use the TS700, our slicer from the Viba Textor family. We weigh your products on the Viba scale, Vive. After that, the products are further guided via the Delta V belt for speed adjustment and a spreading belt to continue the product flows. Between them is our denester. A Viba denester is completely integrated into the overall production line. The denester is able to dispense and forward thermoform trays, flat trays, and even cardboard inlet. When processing thermoformed trays, the tray denester places them directly into a tray conveyor chain. Today, we are loading flat trays, which is what a corresponding tray conveyor belt is installed for. The Viba Picker VPIC 5210 merges your products with your tray. A double picker with integrated dynamic buffers, which can then grip, rotate, or overlap the portions via the servo motor. The rotation access and the equipped kinematic picker and place them on the tray or insert them into the tray according to your wishes. The packaging machine that will be used at your site is located at the output end of the system. It can be a flow packer or a tray sealer. I would like to show you some examples of how your pre-packed products in your tray will appear in the end and how they can be found in the supermarket. I was shopping, and on my shopping trip I found several variations of tray packs. Classic tray packs, small thermoform packs, or even less thermoformed packs like these. All these packages are packed on a tray sealer. This tray has a special requirement because it is very difficult to unstack. However, the VIPA tray denester is able to do this with high efficiency and operational reliability. I have also found other tray packs on my shopping trip, like this one that is sealed on three sides with a flat tray. The tray is used to present the products. I have also found very sustainable packaging options, which were also sealed on three sides, but with a paper tray, in view of sustainability. The folding bag is a very convenient pack in terms of handling. You can always reopen the resealable packaging, take out the product, and present it on the table accordingly. The presentation takes place on a flat tray, which we will use during the demonstration of the Viba Tray and Flow Pack solution. Tray Flow Pack Solution. I have now started the demonstration of our Viba Tray and Flow Pack Solution with the Salami application. We are now going to cut salami with a caliber of 90 millimeters. The two products are simultaneously fed to the slicer load and then gripped by the Textor slicer. Once gripped, the cutting can take place. Here, a trim portion is cut first with subsequent portioning. The portions are discharged twice via the Vive Viba scale, and the speed is reduced via the Delta V belt. Furthermore, 
The two product flows are spaced apart via the spreading belt so that gripping can be made possible later. Our Viva tray denester is located between them, therefore completely integrated and also starts automatically. It is fully synchronized in the automatic sequence with both the systems before it as well as after it. Furthermore, after denesting, the trays are fed to the tray conveyor belt before they are then automatically loaded by the Viba picker. With the Viba picker, it is important to note that sometimes the cutting process can cause portions to be improperly placed. I am currently simulating this by twisting portions by hand. The camera system located in the picker accurately detects the portions and measures them in length and position to ensure that the portions are caught and properly portioned on the tray. In the meantime, we cut more portions per minute in terms of quantity than the packaging machine in the output can load. Meanwhile, the picker has filled the buffer and is now back in the phase of emptying the dynamic buffer. This ensured that the loading pause was completely bridged, that the production line did not come to a standstill, and that we were able to run the automation solution at a continuous output and continuously deliver portions to the packaging machine. Here are the statistics and results. We are cutting at 100% good product yield with minimal giveaway and the picker output is currently exceeding 70 packs per minute effectively. The loading time was completely bridged. The system itself is designed for a maximum output of 100 packs per minute, meaning continuous delivery of portions to the downstream packaging machine. As mentioned earlier, this could be a flow pack or tray sealer solution, depending on your needs. Now, I am pleased to present the product line in another application, an application with cooked ham. This is double cooked ham, 100 millimeters high and 160 millimeters wide. This time in a different variant of portions, and that is in the variant stack, a flat stack two by two. The slicer is loaded, the grippers move forward, grab the product and push it over the cutting edge into the cutting plane. The involute blade cuts the end pieces and starts portioning. Portioning is carried out using the stacking CCU in a very elegant sinusoidal flow so that the stack is perfectly constructed. The stacks are conveyed via the portioning and control belt to the scale where they are weighed and then conveyed via the Delta V belt and the spreading belt to the pick-and-place robot. In between them is the Viva tray denester, which perfectly de-stacks and positions the trays and feeds them to the picker via the tray conveyor line. The picker is equipped with a camera. This detects the position and size of the portions and thus checks whether the portions fit on the tray because, if not, they should not be inserted. In this case, these portions would pass through the picker and not be inserted. The picker is currently already working hard. It starts to fill the dynamic buffer and ensures that there is always a continuous flow in the machine. This means that the production line downstream of the packaging machine, in our case a flow packer, is continuously supplied with filled trays. We now see that the production line has already occupied most of the buffer. We are just hearing that the loading change is taking place. Yet, we always have a continuous output of the production line. This is crucial because, as we all know, continuity at a high level is the maximum output in the end.
This is ensured by the dynamic buffer in combination with the picker. It bridges the loading time and continuously keeps the product flow moving at the output. This ensures that there are no gaps there. The system needs a little time to level out and ramp up in performance. The output rate of the system with continuous packs to subsequent packaging variants, such as a tray sealer, or in this case a flow packer, is 100 packs per minute. Last but not least, here is Viva's automation system for automatic tray loading in another application. I am pleased to present the application with cheese. Having already seen salami and cooked ham, you can now see a semicircular cheese cut. The system loads up and the slicer is loaded. In a short time, the grippers move onto the product, grab it, and the cutting process begins. It starts by cutting trim cuts, transporting them off, and then going into the presenter. As we see here, perfectly cut presentation portions, which are then transported away via the portioning and control belt, and via the vive, positioned via the Delta V belt, and fed to the picker via the spreader belt. Here is our tray denester, which automatically destacks the trays and feeds them to the picker. The picker camera is located in the feeder, which detects the position and size of the portions, as well as other parameters, evaluates them, and uses them in the picker. If twisted, portions are automatically aligned. In this application, particularly with the rotary axis motor with the insert, we turn the portions when they are transferred and placed in the tray. We also see the dynamic buffer at work. It has started to put the extra amount of packs per minute coming from the slicer into the buffer, so that the flow of trays and the output of the picker is continuously maintained. The system and the pipe thus slowly fills, and the output ramps up to a maximum, depending on the application, with up to 100 packs per minute of continuous supply to the downstream packaging machine, whether tray sealer or flow packer. This automation can be used as either standalone or ideally with the current generation Viba slicers. Because that is where the software between slicer and automation is most powerfully synchronized. So there is always maximum output. The slicers of the Pack Drive M generation, our previous generation, can of course also be used with the system. Competitor slicers can only be connected via an I.O. interface. In the demonstrations, we have already seen the stacked as well as presentation portion shape, whether with cheese or vegetarian products, as well as all other portion shapes, such as slice fold, shaved meat, or double stack, the system can ultimately process anything. Loading the Viba tray denester is quite simple. The trays are placed in these chutes and all four chutes are filled one after the other. This means that there is a corresponding number of trays in the supply storage which allow for about two hours of operating time during normal operation and performance, or even more depending on the performance of the production line. The Viva tray denester is fully integrated into the smart picker and slicer. The Viva tray denester is accessed via the control from the smart picker or via the touch panel on the slicer. The smart picker is the master of the plant, like a captain on the ship. It ensures that the slicer synchronizes the feed quantity with the output in such a way that maximum performance is achieved.
It is quick and easy. Let me show you. We disconnect the pneumatic connection. We release the clamp and the picker gripper is removed. And another picker gripper can be mounted. The production line is extremely compact. The length from slicer, tray denester, and picker to the feeder of the packaging machine is only 10 meters, significantly shorter than that of our market competitors. Excellent! But why? The picker automatically places the products on the tray and no personnel are required. This creates excellent hygienic conditions. Minimal staffing is required. One person operates the slicer and one person controls the flow from the picker. Only two people are required. Up to 100 packs per minute with minimal staff and maximum hygiene. That is performance.